The next poem speaks to the strangeness and difficulty and joy involved in building a narrative for a child about who they are and where they come from. Um, the stories that we tell our children about the people who came before them and the inferences that they can make about who they are and what life is was something I was thinking about a lot when I was writing this poem. It's based in a house that I lived in for a long time when I was giving birth to a series of children um, in the middle, well, just over the north side of Cork City, the north inner city in a place called Richmond Hill, which is perched over a big brewery where a lot of my husband's family worked over the generations. And not being from Cork, not sharing in that heritage, I felt a weight of responsibility to evoke that to my children in a way that would lead to coherent narrative, I suppose, for them. From Richmond Hill. Home from hospital, you doze in my arm, milk drunk, all eyelashes, cheeks and raw umbilical, swaddled in the heavy black smells of the brewery. Your great-grandfathers worked all their lives in that factory. Every day they were there, breathing the same air, hoisting barrels, sweating over vats where black bubbles rose like fat. At dusk, they poured into pubs and ordered porter, neat black pints lidded with white silk, thick as cream from frothing milk, and their replies were always the same. The gasp, the nod. Down gullets and guts went the porter, went the pay, went the nights and the days, every day the same. Coins slapped on the counter, no change. In my arms you stir. A thousand street lamps flicker to light in the dusk. As I watch your eyes open, the reek of roasting hops knits a blanket of scent around us. <laughs>